We had nice drives that led to touchdowns. He made a couple plays which led to a rushing touchdown. And um, I think he felt comfortable. Tell me about the hammer. The hammer. Um, the hammer is basically <clears throat> a symbol of grind. You know, and uh, the coaches, they all deliberated on who they felt like should carry the hammer out. And fortunately, I got chosen to, to carry the hammer out. So it means a lot to me. And it means a lot coming from the coaches. Is that every game, or is it going to be game by game? It's every game. Uh -huh. It's every game. I've been chosen, so I do it every game for the whole season. How do you feel now getting ready for your first true road game and uh, conference road game at that? I feel great. You know, uh, me personally, since since I've been here, I feel like Louisville was a team we've always done better on the road than we have at home. You know, um, we're starting to get a lot better here at home, but, you know, taking on the road, taking on a good team like Virginia, we know what we have to do coming in here, you know, for the work week and getting ready, which is working on fundamentals every day, working on technique, working on communication, and just doing what we do. Coach you know, Sands talks about, right. I'm sorry, he talked about advanced scouting, Virginia. Uh, have you looked at them at all? And he said they shut down UCLA's offense. Uh, I haven't gotten to look at Virginia, really focusing on Miami when the week we played Miami mm -hmm. and focusing on Mary State, um, considering that we played Mary State mm -hmm. tonight. So, you know, we'll get a look at them tomorrow and, and, and evaluate them, and then we'll work from there. Why do you think traditionally you guys have done better on the road? Is it a distraction issue? Or? No. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure what it is, uh, if it's – you know, the energy as far as in the locker room. But, you know, I don't think it's that. I just felt like we go on the road and we take care of business. We know what we have to do. And uh, we've, been, we've been able to pick, start picking that up here at home. And, and we're going to continue to do that. To do that excuse me. Jamal, is it exciting as a veteran to see uh, what some of the young guys like Reggie and NLD are doing? Most definitely. Um, you know, I tell the young guys in my room, um, you know, learn from us. So that way when you get out there, you know, you know a little bit of, of what we can teach you, you know. Of course, coach, you know, he's he's the vet at, at, at teaching people how to play. But uh, you know, as being a vet, it's, it's certain things that I can give the younger players, you know, as far as in in the game experience that that helps them out. And being able to kick back, you know, watch the young guys do what they do, yeah, it's it's kind of relieving. Does it surprise you at all that guys like Reggie and LJ just jump in there without really missing a beat? No, no. Um, you see guys come come into the collegiate level like that all the time and just come sort of ready, you know, ready to play. And, you know, a guy like Reggie and LJ Scott, they, they showed those abilities and, and, and the way they work over the offseason that, you know, they would be ready to play this year. You've been a veteran guy. You're a veteran guy, obviously. Has there been anybody else in past freshman classes that maybe you've seen that have been like them or are they just Most definitely. We, I, we had a bunch of them. You had, you had Keith Brown. Who comes in and starts as a freshman, James Burgess? You know some of the, some of the vets as you know vets now. You know when they came in, uh, Sheldon Rankins, D'Angelo Brown. Um, it, it's a, it's a number of guys. You know James Quick. It's a number of guys, and they all showed that ability, and um, you know they got to play early. So 